Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome to class. I'm Lex, and I'll guide you on your journey to becoming a CSS Layouts Guru. In this class, you'll learn how to use CSS Layouts to place and align content on web pages so the content looks great on any screen size. A layout system is a collection of CSS properties that work together to tell the browser where to render HTML elements on a page. For instance, the Skillcrush website uses a layout system to place the title, navigation, and content of the site. Throughout this class, you'll learn about two of the most popular layout systems, Flexbox and CSS Grid. Using Flexbox and CSS Grid, you can easily design website content that adjusts to the screen size of different devices. Before diving into Flexbox and CSS Grid, you need to know about a few CSS layout basics, including one, responsive layout, two, mobile first development, and three, media queries. First, responsive layout is a method of arranging website content so that it adapts to a user's current screen size. This ensures your website provides the best experience no matter what device it's viewed on. To see responsive layout in action, let's look at the Skillcrush website again. On a desktop, the site looks great. You can clearly see the title, headline, images, and text. When you reduce the screen size, elements on the page begin to move around. The layout is responding to the size of the browser window. Get it? It's responsive. Even when the screen size is small, like on your phone, users can still navigate and read the content. Often, web designers build a responsive layout using the mobile-first development approach. Mobile-first development is the process of designing a website to look great on smaller screens first, and then using code to adapt the site to larger screens. The main advantage of mobile-first development is that it keeps you focused on placing the most important content first. Starting with the smallest screen first forces you to decide what content must be there. Then, as you move up to tablet or desktop screen sizes, you can add on the less important nice-to-haves. Mobile-first development uses media queries to adapt the layout to larger screen sizes. A media query is a CSS rule that can change the style of an HTML element depending on the size of the screen. For example, here's a website for a tasty online dessert business you're working on with a colleague. In the CSS file, the headline class has a font size of 24 pixels. On smaller screens, the site is easy to read. The headline stands out and the buy button is noticeable. But as you resize your browser window to a larger size, the headline looks small and no longer stands out. Fortunately, there's an easy fix with media queries. You'll start by adding the media query, which has an at sign followed by the word media. In parentheses, you can set the min width. The min width property assigns a specific style when a browser window exceeds a minimum width. Here, you'll set the min width as 640 pixels, which is a common screen size for tablets. When the browser window reaches 640 pixels, you can tell the font size to increase to 32 pixels by updating the class font size inside the media query. You can set another media query to increase the font size to 48 pixels when the browser window exceeds 1024 pixels, which is an ideal size for desktop screens. To test this out, drag the browser window to the larger screen sizes. As the browser window size increases, so does the font size. And there you have it the first steps to creating a responsive layout with CSS. Neat trick, right? Well, Skill Crusher, you ain't seen nothing yet. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready to see even more impressive layout tricks later in this class. <laughs>